Today, I want to talk about the Pinata protocol for achieving success and overcoming challenges. You know, problems don't go away. The quality of the problems go up. Tenacity and focus. These are the things that are going to get you outcomes in your life. Recently, I was at my son's birthday party and we got him a pinata. You know, those things with full of candy and you have a stick and you hit them. And I watched these kids line up and start hitting the pinata. And like the first one went up, nothing happens, right? Third kid, fourth kid, fifth kid. Finally, my son's turn is up and one big swing, boom! Gets a pinata, drops to the ground, cracks wide open, candy everywhere, pandemonium, kids jumping from the rafters and just eating the sugar and it went crazy. My question to you is, was it that last hit that caused the pinata to crack open or was it every one of those swings that connected? Even the swings that didn't connect because they were swings in the direction. And that's what I wanna share with you today. It's because when I look at my career over the years and the challenges of starting off and failing when I was 17 and then again when I was 19 and then again and just like starting projects and not succeeding but eventually at 24 finding a mentor getting a coach reading business books and just applying myself and being tenacious I've learned that there's these three areas of my psychology that's allowed me to make the gains I've made in my life and I want to share them with you number one is tenacity you know focus if you've ever heard that term people are like you have to have focus you have to have focus focus stands for it's an acronym follow one course until successful write that down follow one course until successful it means you have to be tenacious and keep moving when everybody else would just give up it's so easy you think of a bamboo tree when you plant a bamboo tree you got to find fertile ground dig a hole put the seed in there bury it up and water it and take care of it and put nutrition on it and make sure that it's you know in the right place and it's getting sunlight and for a lot of people that don't know this they would just give up on this bamboo tree because after the first year nothing would have changed it literally would look like the same dirt that they first buried that seed in year two same thing nothing would have changed year three same thing nothing changes year four same thing and on year five here's where the magic comes from the moment that bamboo tree cracks the earth, the little seedling pops open and gets access to fresh sunlight and air, that thing will shoot up 90 feet in five weeks. I share that because too often, you guys are expecting things to happen right now and they take time. Now, some of you guys may be in a really tough place right now and you just feel like, man, everything just feels dark and you feel like you got buried. I want to invite you instead to consider that maybe you've been planted. Maybe this is your time to take in the nutrients and take in the support and take in the water to build up, to build up, to become prepared, to learn the skills, to work on the mindset, to, to strengthen your body and find the energy so that when you finally have your opportunity, you have the tenacity to shoot up 90 feet in five weeks in your equivalent life area. Whatever that means for you, it's your success is right there and you're feeling like you're buried and I'm telling you, you've been planted. Number two is consistency. You know, when I talk to entrepreneurs or people just starting off, they're like, you know, one time I tried to start a business and I asked them to tell me about that. And they share their story. You know, a friend of mine recently started, you know, a sign company and they bought the vinyl machine and they bought the printer and they started getting customers. But for whatever reason, you know, you had some bad employees and all of a sudden after two years, they had to shut it down. And I get it. Business is tough. But what I've discovered is that oftentimes it's just, do you have the consistency to stay in the game? If you think about it, there's a very high chance that if all you did, if you just showed up and stayed in the game and you were consistent for a thousand days, three years, that's it. My argument is that your life could be dramatically different, dramatically improved. Like if you woke up, think about this. There's only a few things that you can actually control. You can control what you put in your mouth, right? You can work on your health. 
You control what you do with your body. You can decide to hit the gym. You control what you allow into your mind, what you focus on, what you consume, the news, the information. And you control what you do with your time and just showing up, right? So if you actually controlled the controllables and you were consistent 90% of the time, I'm not asking for 100% you know, perfection here. Let's be honest. You know, you're gonna have a cheat meal, you're gonna have a challenging day or whatever. But if you showed up day five, day 10, day 50, day 100, start thinking about this, 100 days in a row of compliance 90% of the time, what would your life look like? You know, making the phone calls every day, 10 new customers a day, trying to build the business, trying to learn, reading 10 pages of a book. These are all things that you can control. Pushing your dream forward. You know, day 200, day 300, we're still in year one. And you start looking around and you see your life absolutely transform. You're like, holy cow, I'm in the best shape of my life. I may not have the financial results yet, but I'm showing up, I'm doing the work, I'm putting in the time, I'm being consistent. You know, day 500, day 600, and you work yourself through in your mind, three years, a thousand days of consistency, focusing on the controllables, how much different could your life look? What do you think the impact would be to your family, to the people you love, to your community, to your team member? If you decided today was the day that you go all in, you bet on yourself and you're consistent for a thousand days, three years, here's what I believe in my soul. You will absolutely be a completely different person. You will show up in a thousand days and look back and go, I am so freaking glad you looking in the mirror, you decided to put you first. I'm so glad you're going to be going to the store and you're going to be buying stuff that you used to stress yourself over not having the money for, but you know, you did the work and you showed up. You're going to be strong. You're going to have the energy. You're going to have the confidence. You're going to have the system, the beliefs, because you showed up every day and you did the work. You held the standard, you followed the protocol and you were consistent. That is is what is missing today in the world. People want these outcomes and they do it for 22 days and they expect, I should be buff. It's been 22 days of going to the gym, eating clean. Why am I not buff? That's not how it works. Set a realistic goal, a thousand days, 90% consistent, and that will set the foundation for your success story. Number three is to learn. It doesn't matter what stage you are in business. If you are just starting off, I want to let you know problems will appear. Guaranteed, doesn't matter how much you plan, your business plan, you know, the, the people you get in your corner and the support you get from the banks and your, your family and your friends and your community. I don't care if you have the most incredible strategy plan, business model, etc. you will have problems. The only difference is, do you look at those problems as opportunities to learn? You know, Napoleon Hill said this. He says, every problem is a seed of an opportunity planted if you choose to find that seed of opportunity. Every one of them. Here's what I've learned is no matter what's happening to me external, I know problems are not going away. The quality of those problems are going to get better. And what I need to do is find the opportunity to learn from them. You know, when I was building my coaching business, I started by launching this program called the Idea to Exit. I put everything into it. I went into the studio. I shot the course outline. I wanted to be the best in the world. I was so excited about it. I literally spent months in a studio producing this program that I reached out to some of my best, smartest friends. These, these are folks like Ryan Levesque and Todd Herman and Andre Chaperone and, and you name it, like the, some very influential people online. And I asked them to support me in the launch. And I went all in. I like emailed my list and I ran ads and I like had this big launch for this program. And within six days, crickets. When I say crickets, I mean, it was so bad that Ryan Levesque called me to ask me if the tracking code that we'd given him was broken on our end because there was no sales. He's like, I sent an email to my whole list, multiple emails, to my whole list, and we're not seeing any sales. I messed up the positioning. I messed up the sales videos. I messed up the campaign. I didn't test it prior. 
And I remember calling up my friend Martin and I said, what do we do? Like, I'm willing to do whatever is, I, I cannot, I want to, I want to honor the people that support me. What do I do? And he's like, you need to reshoot your sales videos, probably need to retweak the delivery and the offer. And I did, I literally went the next day, it was six o'clock at night, next morning, I'm in the studio, reshooting four different sales videos, repackaging them, so writing the email copy. And for the next two weeks, I sat there and I manned the chat myself and I did whatever I could to get customers into our world to honor the partners that have promoted the program. Now here's the learning is through all of that, I asked myself, what did I learn? What did I learn? Well, I learned a ton about positioning. I learned a ton about course outline. I mean, essentially we had a program called Idea to Exit, which means I'm gonna help you boil the ocean. Like it's a big promise. I should have called it Idea to Launch and I would have been way easier. But Dan wanted to over deliver, so I over delivered. Now, what happened from that is that launch process was so traumatic in regards to like, you know, we eventually, I think we did like 700K in sales. It wasn't earth shattering. But it was so traumatic in the sense that like up to that point, I'd always built reoccurring subscription businesses that it forced me to ask myself the questions, which is how would I want to build this business and who's doing it that way so I can go model and learn. And that's what I did. And today I run an eight figure coaching company, one of the largest in the world for software CEOs, because I took action, I moved forward, I learned from that experience and then pulled that back into my world and found the person who could teach me how to do it in a way that I wanted to. That's the piñata protocol. These three areas of being tenacious, of being consistent, about being a learner so that you take all of the forward movement and the punches and integrate the challenges that show up, the problems to be learnings, and then roll that back in to take another swing at the pinata and you just keep hitting it and you keep hitting it and you keep hitting it. And even when the how that you're working on doesn't work out, you move to the next how and that one might not work out and you move to the next how and that one doesn't work out and you move to the next one and move to the next one and you don't stop. And one day that one big freaking swing, bam, it's gonna connect. And when it connects and that whole thing explodes, Okay. And everybody says to you, must be nice. Looks like you got lucky. Overnight success. You will know that you showed up and you put in the work. You will know that you dealt with the challenges and found the seed of opportunity and the learnings and moved it forward. And you will know every other person would have gave up. Every other person had reason to give up that in a normal circumstance, it would have been normal to deal with the pressure and noise and just stop but you didn't, you kept swinging, and that's what this is about. So if you like this video, I would encourage you to share it with somebody who needs to hear this message. If you have somebody in your life that you know is going through a tough time and they need to hear this, please share it with them. It would be an honor to support them and support you and share this message with them. With that, I hope this finds you awesome, and I'll see you next week. Boom!